What is block randomization? Have you ever wondered how researchers ensure fairness in studies? One effective method they use is block randomization. This technique is designed to minimize bias and keep treatment groups balanced. So, what exactly does it involve? Block randomization starts by dividing participants into blocks. Each block contains a fixed number of participants. The block size must be divisible by the number of treatment groups. Common sizes are four or six participants per block. This ensures that each treatment group receives an equal number of participants by the end of the study. Next, within each block, participants are randomly assigned to different treatment groups. For example, if there are two treatment groups and a block size of four, two participants will go to each group. This random assignment helps maintain balance, especially in smaller studies where simple randomization might lead to unequal group sizes. Now, why is this important? Block randomization reduces bias by ensuring that treatment groups are similar in size and composition. This balance leads to more reliable results. Additionally, having evenly sized groups increases the statistical power of the study. This means researchers are more likely to detect true effects if they exist. Block randomization also helps control four confounding variables. These are variables that could affect the study's outcomes. By keeping groups balanced, researchers can minimize the impact of these variables. You might be wondering where this method is commonly used. Block randomization is often seen in clinical trials and experimental designs. For instance, in a vaccine trial, participants may be divided into blocks based on factors like age or gender. They are then randomly assigned to receive either the vaccine or a placebo. This approach helps ensure that both groups have similar demographic profiles, reducing potential biases. However, block randomization is not without its challenges. If researchers know the block size, it can lead to predictability. This predictability might introduce selection bias, where researchers can anticipate which treatment the next participant will receive. To avoid this, Using random block sizes can help keep the allocation unpredictable. In the context of measurement and data, block randomization plays a vital role. It ensures that data collected from different treatment groups are comparable and reliable. This reliability is essential for drawing accurate conclusions from the study. So, the next time you hear about a study, remember the importance of block randomization. It is a key technique that helps researchers maintain fairness and accuracy in their findings.